the fan. The Power Hour is live. KFAN.com slash watch is where you can find us. It's powered by Quantum Fiber, your world unleashed. Girl, I'm glad you came. Hey. sweaty almost always yeah and how about his brother his little brother who's now like a bodybuilder oh no kidding yeah we played a few shows with the guy and he was a normal dude the next time i saw him he was like what the hell happened to you god i wish i had steroids am i right <laughs> is it just me no okay, so just cool. get the man some he won't steroids do it. he won't do it he won't come to my movies he get won't him on the to your movie i'm going to your movie i'll be there man what's you your want, wife doing you want some more juice Probably hanging out by herself. Oh, Maynard's Monday why doesn't with she Max. come to the movie? I invited her to. She doesn't want to. I don't know if she wants to see Roadhouse. What? what? Why do you say it like that? Well, I don't know if she wants to. Man. I want to. I sounds, wish. sounds like you don't. Has she seen the original? I don't think so. God, I wish you were <laughs> mute. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Then I wouldn't have sworn on you. <laughs> Max just walked in. He didn't even know who I was talking to, and he just laughs. Thank you. Thank you, uh, buddy. Hey, uh, um, we might be inching closer to a pill that can replace going to the gym. You've been waiting for this, Hawk. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, this man. This is awesome, yeah. Yep, I already got the, the skinny uh, shot going for me. Now I need to, uh, I want to be buff. Uh, new chemical compounds have been uh, discovered that appear capable of mimicking the health benefits of a workout. Uh, a pill containing these chemicals could imitate the effect of exercise on the metabolism and the growth of muscle cells, uh, researchers say, uh, and therefore offset potential muscle atrophy and weakness in people who cannot e exercise for medical reasons or who are lazy, like me. I added that last part. Finally, I don't have to have a beer while I'm on the treadmill. Right. I just get rid of the treadmill. Yeah, just, just right. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be sweet. Uh, and Man. experiments on mice... They made a bunch of little ass kickers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, what a weird story. Not, not one reporting. of them farted. <laughs> not, not a one of them farted. Oh, you yeah. learned that earlier. Right. Yeah, See, full right. circle. Mm -hmm. um, they increased their uh, fatigue-resistant muscle fibers and improved the animal's endurance when exercising. So it's working on mice. Give it to me. I'll try it. Am I right? <sighs> Just oh, a bunch of ripped mice. Yeah, man. Yeah. This sounds like a... Netflix cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a, a kind of a funny and sad cartoon if it was a a movie about mice they're being experimented on. I don't know why I think it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> we could make be it... some suffering. Well, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of suffering. Some of them it ain't working for. And some of them got pretty hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And one of them's got a jerry curl. It'd be nice to have pretty hair. One of them's got a constant man. erection. Do they wow. still do that Three thing with the months. ear? Like they grow the ear on the back of the mouse? What? Huh? You know what I'm talking about. Are you drunk? Stupid. No, there's there's something to yeah. that. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. starting to grow ears. Regeneration there, right on the, yeah. They, they, you can, Van Gogh could have used that. Sure could. Let's see. He's forgotten how to do comedy. <laughs> yeah, what happened to you, Zacho? Resorted in my art phase. Yeah, you resorted. Fart. resorted <laughs> you resorted your art phase. Sanders. Oh. <laughs> Can we do something other than what we're doing now? Yeah, <laughs> please. Sport. It's time for Fan Live. Brought to you oh, by Builders mouse, and this Remodelers. Mouse is disgusting. Oh, no. It does have a, it has an ear like on its stomach. Oh, on its stomach. That's what I'm telling you, man. Yeah. The Vacanti mouse. Whoa. What? Yeah, we really well, yeah, to slander it. Makes like all say it. No, I'm not saying <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> Don't call him that. He just had a bad day. <laughs> He's the villain of the Netflix <laughs> mouth show. I'm He's sorry. got an ear on his stomach. He still won't listen. Oh. Zach, take the rest yeah. of the week off. <laughs> oh. Yeah, somebody uh graft some comedy onto Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scotty Scheffler won the Players Championship. He is the first repeat winner in the 49-year history of the tournament. Uh, he started the day five strokes 
back, but yeah. he shot a uh, 64, yeah. just eight under. Eight under. Yeah, he was outstanding. When he hit that, uh, oh, he, he holed out. Uh, I can't remember what hole it was, yeah. but he gets the eagle on that one, and then he gets a uh, uh, birdie on the next. I'm yeah. like, oh, this is over. Yeah, because one of the guys, I forgot which one it was in the broadcast, basically was like, if he can get to 20 under, he'll win. Yeah. And he did. Yeah. No, that guy. And, and with a sore neck, I mean, there are some really, really painful looking shots that he had in like the day two and day three. But then yeah, he man. was going to he was going to withdraw. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 19 hours ago, Sauce, you tweeted, the ghost gets a hole in one. Do we all pay him 25 bucks? Oh, I don't see him at that. I was just trying to be funny. I don't stand by that. A lame attempt at humor, swing and a miss. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Must Wyndham Clark lipped out on 18 if he uh, had uh, made that putt. In fact, Xander and Wyndham both had shots to tie Scheffler, yeah. but uh, Xander's putt was a, a long range one, although it was a pretty good putt. Got it close. He but, gave uh, her a shot. He did give her a shot, but uh, Xander's. Was long distance, but the Wyndham's was makeable, and it almost went in, and that was your guy. If it had gone down, there would have been a, a playoff between Scheffler and Clark. Clark's flat stick just went south. I mean, he, yeah. he got cold because he was absolutely draining long putts early on in the uh, first couple of rounds. But, man, on Sunday especially, it started happening on Saturday where all of a sudden, like, well, okay, he's missing these putts that he has been making. And then on Sunday, there's at least three Eight footers inside where he's missing, and you're like, wow. eight feet. What a great though thesis statement for gambling, right? How much did you lose this weekend? I lost zero dollars. Did you though enjoy the event more, knowing you had the possibility of making a significant amount of money? No, I would have still watched it. For God's sake, no. Honestly, the answer I, just, is yes. I, I just enjoy watching it. Even well, when even you didn't feel something. it, you didn't feel the rush of Wyndham Clark being in the leaderboard. Yeah, modern day warrior. I wasn't no. a part of the bet, and I was like looking at that, going, "I was sweating for you." Oh, Apparently, I, I was sweating more for Musk Mus than he was. Yeah, right, Musk, no. listen, to me. you you know I want you to be a degenerate gambler. I know, but <laughs> if you trying. if you if you watched <laughs> almost four days of golf and never felt it, then you should tap out because the whole no, point no, is no, to no. feel it. You're missing the point I is that I can watch four days of golf and still have an enjoyable, you know, outing of watching golf. Yeah. That's all I want to do. That's all he wants to do? Yeah. I, 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 have some fun. Partly, I don't like cheering against some of my favorite players. That's the best that's, part. That's yeah. the part that sucks. What? 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 Every, like time, every time this weekend somebody else's golfer put a, a ball in the water, I my explain. Guy that. Yes. That's the best part. It's the best. Put it in the cheering water. against specifically Corey's golf. A hundred percent. Is Even it, me. Well, yeah, I guess that, that does actually. But you're yeah, really the was, only one that I want to cheer against. No, I get that. Corey and I have bet on the Oddly. last two golf tournaments just for the action. Got to have yeah. the action. Gotta yeah. Feel it. I am so sure I'm going to lose every golf bet that I cheer when everybody loses. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, yeah. I'm is it, just sure I'm going to lose. Is it fair to say that, like, if you guys had Wyndham Clark, the last thing you would want to talk about this morning is the golf like you, you would have been like, you know, it's a bad beat. Yeah, right, that, yeah. that would that yeah. would have sucked. You're just like yeah, that the ball was halfway down. Oh, no. he you're played like uh, Tommy well. with a Stanley Cup, just you know. No, but that's going to be a guy now. I'm uh, more and more going to cheer for, you even should... though he he ends up losing this thing and losing me a bunch of money potentially. You should be no. pissed. No, there's no reason to be. pissed. That should have ruined your weekend. You. I'm glad great you're not golf. We, oh, come on. You should have came in here with your head down. For the love of God, <laughs> find some joy in your life. Yeah, For the love of joy? God, you should be asking God why he let that ball lip out. Yeah, right, Corey. <laughs> yeah, man. What was he busy? I find joy in life by taking other people's money by betting against them. Yeah, that's yeah. the the most happiness I can find. That's why I'm in the core. That's why I'm in the core versus four. I want the action. Yeah. Watching March Madness with no action on it is boring. Boring. I have no interest in that. Sports are only fun if you gamble on them. Nailed it. I wish you could eat. You gamble there. on the Vikings. Why me? Season? I think Zach's busy. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gamble on the Vikings during the season? Uh no, that's the only team I don't gamble on. Uh, but you still enjoy watching it. Yeah, because it's football and there's only 16 of them a year, 17. You notice it, like, especially now, like last night, nothing to watch on Sundays. Yeah. It sucks. But yeah. curb. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm not staying up that late. 
You got baseball to manage anyway. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got that though today. That's true. My team plays at like 10 a.m. this morning. And that's, probably 10.45 and 11.30. Yeah. So? 12.15. Well, and though, there's one. a break for lunch, I think. No, I eat before I play. Oh, Smart. yeah. You got to carve yeah. up. Yeah, yeah I got plus, you. got dinner yeah. plans. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to the movie. Do you have like team catering? That'd be awesome. I so now, so wait, now, when you're at the movie theater watching Roadhouse, who's going to uh, simulate those games? Do you hand the reins over to Kel? No, the Lord. Mm. Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah, man. I like playing video games. They're fun. <laughs> I haven't played a video game in probably 30 years. Oh, oh okay. seriously. You know, well, I, I, find find enjoying in the your garage, life, man. Yeah, I go find something else to do. A, a, you know what? Play a golf video game. And you might be Ooh. so happy you died. No, we no. golf yeah. in your garage? We golf. I do have, actually, we golf. So I take that back. Oh. Okay, so I have played we golf in the garage. We golf is... Is that great. a video game? Yeah. Do you play it alone Rest with the door open? <laughs> People just walk by and there's yeah. just some grown man just... <laughs> yeah. Watching me fist pump because I'm just so pumped. <laughs> we we yes, move Eagle. on one hand. <laughs> Miller Light in the other. Well, you guys are having fun. <laughs> I got a I got a neighbor who loves to come over and play Wii Golf, and uh, Tony loves every time, you know, because you get to pick your own golfer, always picks women every time, and then just stands over the, the ball like he's shoffly, and he's just going, hey, get a load of my tees. Wow. Like, you hang out with what kind of people do you associate with? Are there, yeah. are there cool tees on the Wii? Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, can you, you need just, a must? You need them. Can we just swing the club already? Do you here? spell it T I I? Yeah. What kind of predator is Tony, your neighbor? <laughs> right. Is that his nickname, Tony the Predator? <laughs> Will you look at that little? No further right comment. There? There are not. There's another person that's not going to talk to me again. Hey, hey guys, you got your computers in front of you? Sure. Yeah. Run a Google search for an image of uh, Rufus, the furless raccoon. Oh, Tell no. me that ain't the cutest little son of a bitch you ever saw in your life. <laughs> look at that guy. It does look really cute. I think like all raccoons should just be furless look now. It looks like a little puppy. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, look buddy. Him. Look at him. He's very uh, coon. chihuahua-like. Oh. He looks like he's frozen. Poor little guy. Get him a cover. He got no skin on. He's naked. He's embarrassed. Yeah, right. Yeah. Bang his, out. His wife caught him playing Wii golf in the garage by himself. Yeah, talk about Hooters. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, he keeps seeing that guy drive by looking for people with knocks. <laughs> Power trip out. A rare bald <laughs> raccoon is in the care of a Nova Scotia shelter where staff hope she'll grow her fur coat. Looks uh, like a dog. You're right. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, naked squeaky mole rat character. <laughs> As Zach would say, they're playing at the armory on yes, Friday. Of course. I, I've, I've never seen a uh, a furless raccoon. Nope. Didn't know they could be bald. I gotta tell and she, she's hiding in the corner as if, like, don't look. How do you know that's a lady? Yeah. You just said she. I did. His name is Rufus. <laughs> oh, it's Rufus. Yeah. Okay, so Rufus is... You know what? Now he's even more embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's cold. He's like, it's he down there. Cold. I swear it's down there. We I got no cold. fur. I'm cold. <laughs> oh, buddy. Aww. My fur wasn't the only thing they took. Are you oh. showing this on the uh, KFN.com yes. yeah. watch right now? Got to yeah. hope y'all so are looking cute. at poor Rufus. That's the one you're looking at, right? That's him. Oh. Yeah. Poor oh. Dr. Oh, Evil. Bald. Poor little guy. He's so cold. Oh, my gosh. Baby. Check. You're not kidding. I'm reading the story. This is not a bit. Check this out. Diagnosis unclear. Uh, the gal who is the uh, uh, founder of Hope for Wildlife said the raccoon is now at the Seaforth location and she has been affectionately named Rufus. I said see, she because check this out. The raccoon was initially thought to be male. Oh. But, oh. but after it was put under anesthetic, anesthetic for derma, dermatolo, Jesus, dermatological testing yeah, yeah. on Thursday, staff at the center confirmed she is a female. Yeah. And apparently How about Brazilian. Originally thought thing. to be male. Whoops. Rough day for Rufus. I guess those do exist. It'd be worse if it was the other way around, though, honestly. No, yeah, this whole time we thought you were a chick. So, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. come on. Tommy just texted and said, send pics of Rufus. He did. Oh. Poor Rufus. Anyway, there you go. Didn't know that was a thing. Is there a hairless oh, beaver that you've looked up? <clears throat> Moss. What? So according to this story, they believe it's just <laughs> alopecia related. Huh. That's the bit. No kidding. I yep. didn't know that uh, animals guy. got that, too. Did not know that either. I didn't either. Poor little guy. He looks so cold. Oh, buddy. Oh, Keep Rufus's his... name out your effing mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're back. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a decent one. I'll give you that one. You're back. Yeah. 
A lot of layers to that joke. I like there really that. were, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and I wonder. I very wonder clever. Why. Your game has been stepped up in the last handful yeah. of years. Felt like the first two hours of this show went very south, but now you're back. Yeah. It's a Monday. It's a Monday, right? Good regroup. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good yeah, job. I think we should go to break and just call it a day. All right. Uh, let's do headlines. I got some good stuff uh, when we get back. Right, It'll change things up a little bit. iHeartRadio music you should know. Shaggy, that love. You got the love and that I need. <laughs> The Viking speculation continues all this week on The Fan. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we'll help you bundle your auto and home coverage, saving you money and time. Bring ready the Livia away and lose up to 10 pounds. With the tools, support, and motivation. Are you looking for ways to elevate your business through premium headwear and apparel? At Branded Bills, we focus on attention to detail, in-person customer experience, and quality craftsmanship to provide a finished, customized product for any occasion. Our core belief is to create out-of-the-box products that enhance the value of your personal brand or business. We offer low minimum orders, unique design applications, and completed custom products in as quick as two weeks. To find out more, visit brandedbills.com. 855 go Livia. Get spring ready. The Livia way. All right, Twin Cities contractors. Corey Co. from the uh, Power Trip Morning Show for Catalyst Supply and CatalystSupplyCo.com. Catalyst Supply can take your company to the next level. You want to be a Catalyst Supply company for sure because they are made up of former contractors and installers that have decided to support others like you by helping them execute their deck, windows, or metal roofing projects from start to to finish. They are a service-based lumber yard. They have all the solutions, all the supplies, all in one place. Tell them I sent you, and they're going to hook you up on your first project. Check them out on their website, which is CatalystSupplyCo.com. That's CatalystSupplyCo.com. Hey, hon, let's invite your folks over for a barbecue this weekend. Really? Why the sudden interest in impressing my parents? Oh, no reason. Maybe I just want to show off the yard from Weed Man Lawn Care. <laughs> well, Dad's actually on his way. Wow, nice lawn. Weed Man Lawn Care, huh? But have you seen ours lately? Okay, challenge accepted. For a free quote and to win the turf war, visit WeedMan.com. Use promo code WMSAVE50 for 50% off your first application. That's WeedMan.com, WMSAVE50. What is better than a pot of gold and a four-leaf clover? Auction prices on fish houses that double as a camper. A.C. Nelson and Shakopee must clear the lot for upcoming summer inventory. Most fish houses priced at 50% off, prepped and ready to go camping. Camp in the summer? fish in the winter. Put zero down starting at $1.99 a month. There is no better time to buy. Auction prices on fish houses that are campers too. But it ends March 19th at A.C. Nelson RV in Shakopee. WAC. Meat Sauce here for my friends at Finch Home Solutions and FinchHomeSolutions.com. My good friend Corey Cove used them a couple of days ago and said it was unbelievable. Dude, you nailed it. Uh, I needed a uh, last-second uh, outlet put on my wall, and then I needed a light switch move from one side of the wall to the other. I called them on a Wednesday. They were at my house the next day, and they did it in 45 minutes, and they were awesome. One you of them correct. Yeah, you're welcome, man. One of the many reasons Finch Home Solutions is A+. plus. Call them today. Go to FinchHomeSolutions.com. Thanks, Corey. Now back to the 651 Carpets Plus, home of the next day in Saul Studios. It's the power trip on the fan. Segment of Carpet Morning Show. It's eight twenty-one. You know it is uh, it's Monday. We're on kfan.com slash watch right now. Waving at you. Hi, everybody. Who's this hog? This would be uh, Walker Hayes. Right, Musman? Yeah. I like Walker Hayes. I like this guy. We uh, played with him at Summerfest a long time ago in Milwaukee. Good dude. Yeah, the guy's got like 18 children. Does he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's good at two things. That's a good start. Hmm. Music and making babies. Yeah, well. Hey. 
lucky. One more thing that I'm good at. <laughs> hey, uh, Musman, when that you put uh, when you put silverware silverware yes. in the dishwasher, yeah, is it handles up or handles down? Uh, so the the knives are down, and then uh, everything else is up. So then you'd have the tines up for the forks, and the spoon would be up as well. Okay, is that the right way to do it? Anybody know? I believe I, that. I don't know. I don't either. No well, idea. because you, yeah, because you can, it's hard with the knives. That handle's a little bigger, so it doesn't fit in the slot. It's got to fit in the slot. Would you agree that a uh, hot dog is not a sandwich? Well, it's meat in a bun. I mean, that's kind of a sandwich. Okay. I'm a sandwich artist, then. Mm. Oh, my. Mm. Max. <laughs> Thanks, that What's a better pet, a cat or a dog? Are you asking me again? Yeah. Why do I? Okay, well, a dog for sure. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Yeah. I don't mind cats. I just, yeah, I prefer dogs. Okay, everybody be cool. Well, yeah, <laughs> be cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Strong take. Yeah, no. Relax. What? Buddy. Don't get so upset. Zach's looking at me like he's mad at me. You're, you're up you're here. Pissed. Yeah. You you... You're a what? Like, whoa. <laughs> here. Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. All right. Now it's time for Headlines. Oh! Uh, brought to you by our friends at Wolf River Electric. You can go solar with Wolf River Electric. Just uh, reach out to them. Say, I want to go solar, Wolf River Electric, and they'll uh, they'll help you. Yeah, man. Nice guys, those guys. Thank you. Uh, the government is stepping in to try to stop fad, uh, fast food places like McDonald's from having ice cream machines that are always broken. I don't know what that means i don't know how they're stepping in but they're apparently going to step in and figure out why the uh, ice cream machines are always down it's about time they do something yeah they dairy look- queen never has them down they work every time no well, how would you how know you're problem? sitting in the uh, line waiting on the guy in front of you to get his nine oh, cheeseburgers yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a couple there's a guy like a like who invented this like deal to help his own franchise location with the ice cream machine and it would alert you when it was down. It would help it get back to normal. And he got, like, sued by the McDonald's Corporation. Oh. So, because it was dealing Is with, that right? Yeah. So, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, they don't get any pushback on the study and all that. Is so, let's, f- let's, let's say for argument's sake, let's go with conspiracy theory here, right? Let's say for argument's sake, there's a reason why McDonald's wants their ice cream machines to be down about half the time. Can anybody think of any good reason why half the time they wouldn't want it to work hmm. intentionally? I think it comes down to it's like the strawberry daiquiri, the frozen strawberry daiquiri of of all servers. Like when when you get like you go to a bar, you want to get a bartender mad, ask for one of those. Yeah, they do not like it. Like, yeah. like, Son of a yeah, but, they do not but like you it. ever watch them? Do an ice cream cone, it takes two yeah, seconds. It takes two seconds. Yeah, yeah. see? Yeah, see, can, Rose, yeah, Rose gets, gets it. it. How can that possibly slow them down? I don't know. It's a great question. Yeah, it is a very good question. I don't know. Because for the, the people malls. that believe that it's intentional, I would just say, okay, but why? Right? Yeah. That's the easy comeback. Is but why? Give me an actual why? reason why it's an advantage for McDonald's to not have those things going 24 hours I, a day. I think on a local scale, it's it's the people who are working that are going, it's a lot easier to just say, hey, no, you it's know, down it's again. down, Sorry. as opposed to going in and cleaning it. Because from what we under, I've heard before, it takes a while to... Clean and some yeah. work. So, and they also have to, like, you know, they got the giant bag of mix that they got to pour in. They probably just say it's a lot easier to. I could be wrong. So, you're just saying it's a bunch of lazy sons of bitches. No, I mean, they're working hard. They just sounds don't. like it. Yeah, it sounds like it. Why are you crossing I don't both your blame them. Hey, Corey. <laughs> yes, sir. Did you know that in 1976, McDonald's had a, um, an, a mascot for the filet of fish sandwich? Oh, no. <laughs> His no. name was Phil. Phil. A. Ofish. Brilliant. <laughs> it lasted literally one year and it was uh, received so poorly that they. Oh, was he Irish? Uh, no. I, I mean, I, I can't tell. But I'm looking at a picture of him and his name is Phil A. Ofish. I wonder if uh, the other McDonald's mascots at the time just completely cold shouldered him. Right, like uh, Mayor McCheese and yeah. Ronald McDonald and Grimace are like, no thanks. Nobody. Not hanging out with Phil A. <laughs> yeah. O'Fish. Yeah. And Grimace is kind of an a-hole. For a surprisingly mm-hmm. good taste. Yeah, that's a sweet mascot. Bring that back. 
Hawk, do you you don't? Did, I mean, you, I, did I, you have a fillet of fish? Uh, yeah, I did one. Sure. Yeah, sometimes. Right. What are those golden nuggets worth now? I got oh, like three. Yeah. Let me go look e- eBay. Golden, golden nugget. McNugget buddies. Huh? Yeah. Let's see here. Damn, uh, what the hell are you talking about? A couple of them are like hundred and fifty bucks. This huh. one's a hundred. Hundred and fifty. Yeah. One seventy five right Who's here. Paying that. Mm-hmm. Hawk could buy it. I don't know. I want to put Phil A O fish on the. For a surprisingly good taste. Boy, there's a, a catch line there for you, isn't it? Yeah. Like, hey, you'll be really surprised. This is pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it looks like crap, yeah, but, correct. you know, it, it'll... You'll surprise. be shocked. This is okay. Right. <laughs> I myself wouldn't yeah, eat it, but I, would, I think you'll I, enjoy it. Yeah. Trouty McFish breath didn't work either. They tried oh. that in 1977. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> A museum in St. Louis <laughs> that was good, broke a Guinness World Record by gathering 355 people to wear underwear on their heads at the same time. Hmm. Just 355. That's the record. Yeah, boy, for art. Same why don't we? Thing. Why don't we get? Because we normally get uh, between like 600 and 1,000 people at uh, Treasure Island. Yeah. Why don't we just ask everybody to bring underwear next Thursday? We'll all put it on our heads and we'll break the world record. Call it a day. Hmm. I mean, we could try that. Or don't even ask them to bring extra underwear. Just take off the ones that you have and put it on your head. Who's yeah. going to volunteer to do that? I think Tommy. PA's. I didn't think PA was going. Most of our listeners probably. Yeah, three fifty-five. It's a pretty low number for a world record. Did what you do you think? The uh, yeah. I mean, we could go for it if you want. Uh, the swirl on top of the Dairy Queen ice cream cone is trademarked. They trademarked the swirl. The little curl thing. Yeah. The little curl. Yeah. The curl yeah. on the top. Yeah. So no one else can do that? Man, I would love to have a dipped oh. ice cream oh. cone right now. I oh, have, oh, yeah. 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 I've heard about other people doing that. but The yeah. curl? Yeah, the curl. They got shut down. Do we eat yeah, deli bars? Got, yeah, there was like lawsuits and stuff. So <laughs> be careful, man. You never know what they can trademark. Hmm. Yeah. Other radio stations mm-hmm. stealing games. <laughs> that oh. never happens. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Anybody in here ever worked in a McDonald's? No. No. No, because I love McDonald's so much. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like, it, I, I never wanted to work in any kind of restaurant whatsoever because then I would be like, I know it would turn. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you just all of a sudden, like, I, I, still can't I, I know too much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't I, eat cheese curds? What? I can't because, yeah. I mean, I, I That's can why dabble. I never got a job but, at a yeah. whorehouse. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right. You get tired of that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Brilliant, Hawk. Um, it says here, uh, a one at one point, one in six American workers had worked at McDonald's at one point in their life. Wow. Yeah. I don't think that st- stands anymore. No, probably not. Yeah, nationally now, it's probably Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Or, yeah. A yeah. huge percentage of yeah. people at some point in this uh, mm-hmm. country have at least worked at Walmart. Well, they for used a or OnlyFans. Or OnlyFans. Yeah. Same thing. Remember, they used to have a, a time clock, basically, for the employees at like a McDonald's or a fast food place. We're like, we need to get the order. It has to be at the window and ready to go in a certain amount of time. And because I actually did work, I guess, technically, one time at the window as one of those radio bits. Where okay. Like, oh, yeah. hey, right, right, right. right, right. Mm-hmm. And they were like getting PO'd at me because I was taking too much damn time. And so there was like, no, it has to be out like this. Nowadays, I go, I don't, I don't think they have that clock anymore. I mean, they have the clock, but it's definitely not as... Uh followed but that's fine well now there's so many um, yeah zach there's no, I'm not... so many people doing online orders and all that oh sure yeah like now that. most of the parking lots at these fast food restaurants most of them are online order yeah. parking spots and then now they got to bring it out to people and stuff and that's that can't be fun <laughs> you uh you worked at a didn't you do like a canes drive through thing or something i did yeah how was that it was fine everybody was nice Seem to be because they're yeah. fast. They're they are quick. fast. Yeah, yeah man. I worked at Taco Bell for a little bit. Did you actually yeah, Taco Bell? Oh yeah, I did yeah. the toast. Yeah. How did the How did your time at Taco Bell go? It was. It's exactly like you guys. I didn't eat Taco Bell for a really long time. Yeah. I saw people just like raw dog and tacos with no gloves. <laughs> And I was that doesn't like, happen anymore. Obviously. What a terrible thing to happen to you, Max. I yeah. mean, seriously, <laughs> they were what you at two in the morning, Stone still didn't want to go to Taco Bell. Uh, it was it was hard. It was really hard. That was ultimately what broke me. It was me stoned at one a.m. and I was like, "All right, let's do it, boys. I'm back in." Yeah, you pulled me back in for one more. 
and then one more turned to two. And... Taco Bell whales. Taco Bell's awesome. Yeah, especially when you've had like 17 beers. Oh, yeah. A Dua Lipa fan called the cops after a Nicki Minaj fan flew to his house to settle a heated online argument in person. <laughs> what? I can't blame him. I'd probably call the cops, too, if somebody was so motivated to do some damage that they would get on a flight just to come to my house yeah. to a settle an online argument, a heated yeah. online argument. I love it. This is like when that dude on Christmas Eve, the two dudes were arguing about Kobe and LeBron, and then the one dude drove to the other guy's house to fight on Christmas Eve. I don't remember that, but I get it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hawk gets yeah, mad at I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um... Did you see the Tyreek Hill story? Uh, yes, Tyreek Hill. Rosie. Rosie did, even on his third honeymoon. Uh, Tyreek Hill allegedly smashed an unlit cigar in his wife's face because she wouldn't sign a uh, post nuptial agreement, which I guess oh I didn't God. really know there were post nuptial agreements. <laughs> yeah, no. What? No. Tyreek Hill, uh, Tyree Hill allegedly smashed an unlit cigar in his wife's face because she wouldn't sign a post nuptial agreement. You know, uh, you know things are going south when anybody comes up to you with a uh, post nuptial. Yeah, you know, it's were, like, why, were, why are you trying to sign a deal now? They were a couple for a long time, and then they got married, and all everyone went to hell, man. Yeah. I, I'm serious. I'm not kidding you. Yeah, That's a true story. Apart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bruno Mars reportedly owes fifty million dollars in gambling debt to the MGM in Las Vegas. Oh, That's not you. my day, man. <laughs> There's a lot of people calling BS on that story. Oh, oh really? Because oh, they're like, Marnie. why would you, even though you're, you know, he's music and he's rich and everything, $50 million still a lot for you Bruno know. Mars. Yeah, I mean, is. Corey, does this turn you on? Is this a, the, a thing that you're Not. getting really excited about because somebody's gambling? And well, it makes me like Bruno Mars money. a lot more. <laughs> a lot more. Huge mm. fan. Yeah. Bruno's mm. going for it. He doesn't care. Well, that's a lot, though. 50 yeah, that's a lot. Million. That's yeah. so much. Even for one person, again, he's a, he's a superstar. Don't get me wrong, right. but... He's not. I don't know. Who would debit or credit him 50 mil? Um, somebody that has his concerts. Doesn't he perform for them from time yeah. to time? I don't know. Or a lot of, but even so, go. Yeah. he's yeah. going to be doing free concerts for the rest of his life. Well, it says, yeah, it says this quote right here. It says MGM basically owns him. He makes $90 million a year off the deal he did with the casino, but then he has to pay back his debt. He will only make one point five per night. Oh, I'm time. fine. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Man, that's well, so much gambling. Yeah, it is, man. It's I mean, literally you, house money. But well, how do you? How do you? Hmm, I don't he's even know how he's you doing do what I think I would have done in that situation, which what? is yeah. get paid <laughs> by the casino and just give it right back every sure. night. Yeah. Don't bet against me. All right, <laughs> Macho Man. A man in Nevada had a pretty big mystery on his hands recently when more than a hundred pounds of packaged sliced bread was just randomly dumped on his property last Monday. Proud, yeah, I'm proud. <laughs> he had no idea where it came from, what it was doing there. And it's not even a house. It was at a funeral casket supplier. You were nothing but garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it had mold, but most of it looked okay. Some of the loaves were in boxes, but a lot of it was in loose packaging. Around loose? his dumpster. Loose. Oh. Yep. Uh, the man was confused and concerned, so he poked around, making sure that nobody had been killed and buried under the bread. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. There no. he is. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of bread. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, um, did they find out what happened? Eventually, uh, they cracked the case. A distributor came forward and said they uh, contracted a driver to handle that route and that he dumped it because he was mad and didn't want to go through the process of returning it. So he just I dumped guess it. I I was... Pretty horny. I guess. <laughs> so he just dumped it, and uh, here's the thing, I guess. It is a crime. The business owner would have uh, been responsible for it since it happened on their property, but now that the bread is gone, it sounds like somebody else uh, helped the guy out, got rid of it, and uh, somebody is going to get in trouble. Whoever the driver is going to get in trouble for that just randomly a, dumping 100 pounds of bread. That's a lot of bread. A lot that's of a bread. That is a lot of bread. Yeah, yeah pick up one loaf and then consider right. that. Yeah, That's Thank so you, much. What do you think oh, one... Let's all guess. What do you think a, <laughs> what one loaf of bread weighs? It's, it's pound and a half? It's, it's, it's the craziest part of the story. It, I it's, bet it's less than that. It started out as two loaves, and it just... Wouldn't you guys say like a half, <laughs> a, half a pound, maybe? Yeah. 
What does one? Oh yeah, one... probably about a pound. Yeah, about a pound. About a pound. Yeah, about one pound. Yeah. Yeah. Bread. So a hundred loaves. That's not as much. Nah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. sound yeah. still. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's still. Yeah. Yeah. You can't not hide a body in a hundred. Right. You could have way more than a hundred. Oh, what I could hell? do that. I could hide a body. Jeez. Oh. My word. Why'd you look right at mm. me? I need more than a hundred. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Can you make it a hundred? <laughs> Various head of oh, You're going to need a couple. All more right, Moss. Moss. Oh, that's a good point. Moss. Oh, sorry. A 30 year, uh, 32 year old man in Colorado named Stephen Masalta. Old Steve M. <laughs> <laughs> he got busted last month. Oh, no. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what is it? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> After allegedly getting frisky with some pr- products at the store, including fruits, Come vegetables, on. and baked goods. Oh, no. Come on. He was trying fruit on. Brilliant. Uh, what did he do to the zucchinis? Well, I, can, I can give you a guess. Bend Mom. over and I'll show you. <laughs> okay, oh. both of you. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. He wasn't caught in baked the act, goods. but the police eventually nabbed him after he was seen... Doing a solo act outside numerous coffee shops and businesses. Wow. Uh, that led him, uh, led the, uh, that, that led the police to search his home where they found video evidence of his vile supermarket market desecration. Oh, my God. Uh, those those videos were from show. last summer. I don't know how he got videos of them, but maybe he just filmed Very himself well, on his right. phone. Yeah, I bet he did. He's uh, facing a slew of charges. Well, this is much more apropos now. I guess I was pretty horny. <laughs> Couldn't help himself and then filmed wow. himself at a So uh, I wonder, did, I guess people consumed those, like bought those things? Oh, no. Don't know. No. That's a really good question. Oh. I gotta believe if they didn't know he was doing it and then they found video yeah. of him doing yeah. it. I, uh, uh, what's, what's wrong no. with my melons? I don't know. They're lumpy. Oh. They are. Uh, people want to look as good as they do with filters. A new study has found a strong Whoa. link between social media usage, photo editing apps, and the, quote, increased desire for cosmetic procedures. So they're saying the more you use filters, the more likely you are to eventually want to get cosmetic surgery to look like you do in the filters. There's the Saigon whore <laughs> that bit my nose off! Great film. <laughs> Great film because of him. No, it film. isn't, but he makes no. it. I He's like so, the film. Yeah. If you take it for what it's worth, it's not trying to be an Oscar award winning film. Dirty Work is great. Go watch it. Go see it. All right. Back to you, Corey. A man sued an airline after they lost his checked luggage filled with crab meat. What? what oh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> what, what, why? Yeah, what? Why? Honey, you ready to go? Uh, which yep, led to it spoiling. Meat. So the court oh. ruled that they owe him about eight hundred dollars, even though he wasn't supposed to have perishable items. Uh, the court said, "Quote: If an airline accepts checked baggage, then it assumes liability, even if the airline has not agreed to transport certain items. So even though he wasn't supposed to have it." Where it says uh, the airline owes him eight hundred dollars. Wow, man, that could not have smelled good. Oh, no, oh, that's spoiled so crab meat. Ugh, Terrible, really? uh, yucky. Here's also a tip: <laughs> yeah. if you're staying at an Airbnb and uh, you happen to do a little going? shelling, and uh, my wife thought it'd be a good idea, because she's like, "Well, I don't want this to stink in our our luggage," so she boiled it there at the Airbnb. What? Yeah, she boiled all the uh, the uh, the shells, and it reeked so bad. Wait, you took shellfish home? No, no, no. When you go shelling, if you're just going to go get, you know, you're walking the beach. Oh, you're picking, picking up, up shells. shells. Okay, got oh. it. Got it, got it, got it, got yeah. it. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then she boiled oh. them. And it's, so, I mean, it was awful. We had to open up all the windows. It was kind of cold out. Oh, it was bad news. It was yeah. Ick, icky. Yeah. That's terrible. Just, yeah, terrible. Yeah, so don't do that. Okay. Okay. I won't. All right, try this one. You guys are familiar with a uh, rock and roll legend, pioneer, sure. Sure. innovator, yeah. Chuck Berry. Yeah, of course, he's yeah. there, the best. Thought he'd be good. Well, that's the thing is Chuck Berry just basically stole his bit from Marty McFly, but whatever. Right. He died oh. on this date, uh, March 18th. What year did Chuck Berry die? Let's just see how close anybody can get. Man, that's a very good question. When did Chuck Berry die? It wasn't, a, it wasn't that long Zach, ago. Zach, you go. 2001. 2001, Zach says. 85. 1985, Sauce well, says. He played Wii Fest on the third day. 
Wasn't it like probably in 2019? Two, wasn't like 2020? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, I'm, I was going to say 2007. But. He played Wii Fest? Yeah. Because remember all the weird stuff came out about him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, was like, I think it was like 2020, 2021. Sauce, you said 1985. Yeah, now I think I'm way off. He died in 2017. All right, oh, wow. I remember. Ab and I were going for a hike, and they announced it on the radio. And I, she was like, uh, do I know anything uh, from him? And so we just sat in the car and listened to uh, Johnny Be Good and all these great tunes, man. So I think you're confused because Back to the Future came out in 1985 and they referenced Chuck Berry. That's true. Yeah, that was because that was his cousin, his Marvin, cousin Marvin Berry. Yeah, Marvin and Berry. he was showing him the sound he was looking right, for. Right, you know that new sound you're, you've been looking for? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. we'll listen to this. Listen that to was that. in 1985. Right, right, yeah. right, right. But he lived longer than that. Chuck Berry. R.I.P., man. What a nice thing we to miss say. Yeah, thank you, That's buddy. That's very <laughs> What if he was not at peace until you Right, yeah. Right. He was yeah. waiting. Like, literally, what if... Yeah, he was stuck in purgatory like Patrick years? Swayze and Ghost, and he was waiting for you to wish, wish him yeah. just... Yeah. Uh, like, 2017. Like, yeah. yeah. You could have yeah. said it any other time before. Everybody else forgot. Seven years of purgatory for Chuck Berry. <laughs> and now it's done. What? Well done, Zacho. What if he was Thanks, loving man. it? No, he wasn't. He was not loving it. How do you know? You don't Nobody know what purgatory Nobody loves would be. purgatory. How would you know? <laughs> yeah. You, have you ever been? What are, the, what are the conditions? Maybe it's his thing. Is that what you're right. saying? I Maybe. suppose. If you're going wherever, it's like, whichever direction he's going for eternity, right? I suppose. You question that. What if seven yeah, years of purgatory isn't long enough? It's like, he's, he's like, I got the rest of my my you know existence to go somewhere else. It's like this edging for heaven. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Jesus. That's, Jesus. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's a great band name. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a uh, Christian rock band. Wow. <laughs> that is very good, Max. Mm -hmm. Wow. What if Purgatory is nothing but Coke freestyle machines? That would be hell. We're talking about hell. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. You're talking about hell. I don't dislike them. I think they're fine, right, Hogs? Coke I'm freestyle not, machines. I, I, I'm not listening. Oh. Do they have Coke freestyle at this movie theater over here? Yeah, they sure yes. do. They do? They sure as hell do. Yeah. You, you sneak yeah. your own in, Zacho? Is that why you're not going to Roadhouse? I I'm, I'm never said I wasn't going to Roadhouse. I, I've i been pretty on the ongoing. I'm, okay, but who I'm goes going. to movie theaters and doesn't get a soda? Right. You're, you're going to go there and just get popcorn with nothing to drink. What, are you going to get an Icy? I'm not going to get anything. Oh, that's because you're going to bring the big purse and bring all the, your own stuff in? Hell yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to bring the yeah. purse. I'm not going to bring <laughs> all that stuff in. Well, good for you, Zach. Yeah. Max and I are having a good time tonight. <laughs> oh, me? Wow. <laughs> you're saying he's bringing his purse? No, like it's, it's the stuff in it. Mm. I thought, I thought you don't get high during the week, or is that just sauce? That's sauce. That's just sauce. So you, you get high during the week, just not at work? No. Got it. Never. You'll be high at the movie tonight. Um, that's not work. That's, mm. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, no. you're representing the station, though. Right. No, I'm not going to be there. No, I'm not going to get high tonight. Yes, you'll be unbelievably stoned. Not unbelievably. I mean, <laughs> just <regular. laughs> a proper amount. A group <laughs> of uh, Seattle area cyclists who helped one of their own escape the jaws of a cougar recounted their story this weekend, saying they fought the cat and pinned it down. I had to do the same thing for Max. <laughs> oh. The woman who was attacked sustained neck and face injuries and was treated at a hospital. Uh, she spent five days there, fish and wildlife uh, something or other, uh, called the actions of her fellow cyclists heroic. Uh, they battled a 75-pound cat and had to pry its jaws apart. That's get, a huge bitch! To get their friend's head out of there. I can't imagine that, like, if Sauce was being attacked by a cougar, yeah. then I would do anything. I'd be like, jeez. I can't imagine there's a cougar big enough to get that head in its mouth. <laughs> jeez, oh, Sauce. <laughs> Tough luck, Sauce. See you later, buddy. I'd rather do that. Aw, come on. You can't laugh at my jokes. You laugh at his jokes, and they aren't good. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to sound like I'm making a joke, but I'm not. Why do people go outside? Yeah, why would you? There's freaking cougars eating yeah. people's heads. Uh, there's uh, he's 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 that's why I'm going outside, <laughs> brother. For fifty dollars, <laughs> check his DMs. Yeah, yeah. Right, hard pass. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, that's part of it. Baseball to manage inside. Uh, Gilpin man <laughs> is lucky to be alive after he was rescued from being trapped in shoulder deep snow for ten hours. Bren Wilson was trying to clear a path with his tractor after last week's historic snowstorm in Colorado when his tractor stalled 
Unable to escape the deep snow, he dug a snow cave, talked with his daughter on his cell phone, and hoped for a rescue. After 10 hours, oh. a rescue team finally located him. He was taken to hospital, treated for hypothermia. Snow cave was smart, though. Yeah, snow yeah. cave, man. That's, that's, how it, right? yeah. that's how you do it. I learned about those in Norway. Oh. Snow caves. I didn't even know there was a thing, but yeah, apparently if you can build a fort and stay warm in it. Right. Mm-hmm. So cool. Yeah. Hmm. Apparently it worked for this dude. Yeah. If you're looking for a college degree with maximum earning potential, you want to be um, an engineer. Like a oh, is that the end? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was going to be more. So did I. The lowest paying <laughs> college degree is in liberal arts. Talk According to a it. New York uh, Federal Reserve study, a full-time worker's computer engineering uh, majors ranked first for college majors with the highest income five years after graduation. Uh, they had an annual median salary of $80,000, followed by chemical engineering and computer science, all paying more than $75,000 annually. Um, John Oliver kind of went at uh, student loans and the college system last night about yeah. how flawed it is. About He was bringing up the point about like administrative as- assistance, right, that the... Um, like two thirds of them don't have a college degree, but now if you're applying for that job, almost all of them are required to have a certain amount of education. Right. So it's basically two thirds of the people who are doing the job, if they reapplied, would not even get a, uh, an interview. And they're talking about how flawed that is, right? Mm-hmm. That that's not a job that should require a degree. Right. Doctors, sure. Lawyers, mm-hmm. sure. Yep. If you're an administrative assistant, you shouldn't have to go a hundred thousand dollars in debt Correct. just to do that job. You you can be good at that job without going to college. Yeah, Correct. the government should just pay for those bills that you had. <laughs> they oh. address that as well. Yeah. Oh, that one I don't I don't I don't get that hmm. whole. We're gonna take care of your your tuition hmm. after you've already done. I I, I don't know. Well, hmm. they explained they, that as well last night. Yeah. Well, maybe just if the colleges didn't charge that damn much. Hmm. People would actually be able to pay off their uh, college debt. Do you remember which studio you walked into? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. A horse is dead. Good. What? Finally. <laughs> no. A horse is dead after suffering an injury. Guess what? At Santa Anita Park. It's unbelievable. It's, God. Oh, my God. The, that happens all the time. All the time. Christmas. Stop bringing horses there. The four-year-old colt was euthanized almost immediately after winning a race on Saturday. The California Horse Racing Board says the horse collapsed about 50 yards past the finish line. This is the sixth time this year a horse has died. Just this year alone? Just this year, dude. Wow. I know. What the hell is going on? We don't read about that at uh, uh, Canterbury. No, right. oh, it's yeah. pretty rare everywhere else. Everywhere yeah. else. It's, it's right. only in Santa Anita. We're going to find out. Mistakes happen. There's a serial killing horsey. Yeah, right. <laughs> that lives in Santa Anita. Mr. Killing Ed all the Wayne other Gacy. And how, oh, dude, that oh, is very that's clever. that's actually really good. Did anybody hear that? <laughs> Say it again. Mr. Ed Wayne Gacy. Come on. Give the man like some that. props. I like that. Thanks. Sorry, buddy. Zach says you guys laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> I say it. It's like, oh, oh, that's all right. Well, except for Hawk. He stood up for me. I, yeah. I agreed. Oh, and Maxo. I just I just don't oh, get geez, it. Thanks. I mean, it's it's John it's Wayne joke. Gacy, so yeah. oh. he just he just changed his name to Mr. Ed. Okay. Okay. Now, it would funny. have been better if it would have been Mr. Ed Gein. Yeah. Oh, oh that yeah, would have yeah, been yeah. better. Yeah. See, yeah. I mean, the comedy actually, credit got you. Yeah. You actually yeah. screwed up your own bit. Damn, That's all right. Gosh, really you didn't know it. you were on The Voice, did you? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know George Carlin was here. <laughs> thought you knew serial killers. Yeah, me too. I'm yeah, Ed Gein is better, yeah. I turned my chair on for you, Thank you. Thanks, Zacho. Yeah, well, you are a spinner. Oh. Hey, um, is it? hey, um, uh, what's your name, Mus? Yes, sir. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Love them all. Or video games, oh. beef jerky, and sitting. Oh, I got to go with the sex. It's not even roll. close. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, right. Wouldn't you agree? Well, who would go with the other? Video games? Beef jerky and sitting? I mean, Corey, what? Oh, yeah. I, I don't like beef jerky at all. I don't mind the sitting in the video game part, but I mean, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, does, does that count like NyQuil? Then I'm 100% in yeah, on that one. Yeah, kind of, yeah. 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 
Are you on the tussin? What's going on with you? Man? He loves the pouring tussin. up lean. No, I'm just not. Oh, I'm one of those guys. You got a cup of mud, brother. I get yeah. excited when I require Nyquil. I don't abuse it. I don't drink it constantly. But when that situation arises, I'm like, sweet. Why do you got two styrofoam uh, cups? Uh, yeah, Nyquil, I get a double eh? cup, bro. Do you like try to purposely get sick? Like, no, I just love sick. the effects of Nyquil. Sick, sick. Love it. it. Gives you effed up dreams. You know and they have you sleep like a baby. You know they have Zquil, right? Sure. What is that? And Dayquil, but so that's for no. It's, hour. it's Nyquil without like the cold medicine, but it still like knocks you out. Really? So you can have it whenever you. You don't have to be sick for that. Well, that oh, just helps you sleep. Well, that's that's that changes Corey's that's plans. But then again, he just found out that there was uh, what ibuprofen in gel form like a year a week is ago. That right? You did? Yeah, he was. He couldn't believe that they actually have it in. The hell is he talking about? What, what are you now? talking yeah. about? I yeah. think it was, was it a NyQuil that he couldn't believe? Oh, yeah, it maybe it was NyQuil. That's right, yeah. 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 That's right, it was yeah. NyQuil yeah, because was NyQuil. you hated the taste of it and you had no idea that they had That's it in pill say. form. <laughs> yeah. I You've hated the taste it. of NyQuil? Yeah. I've always loved the taste of NyQuil. Am I losing really? my mind? Yeah, did you no, bring this second I yeah. swear to no, God. I think, I we think, did, it, I think Zach was right. We did have a conversation about that you, somebody on the show didn't know that NyQuil came in pill form. I, yeah, I think you roasted them might, and then it was like a real thing. That might have been me that didn't know it was in pill form, but yeah. I love the taste of NyQuil. That's half the fun. Yeah, he really likes he's, it. He's drinking it. He's always Tastes amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you bringing the walk to Poland? Yeah, sipping hell yeah, man. There's also a really good chance I just said everything that you just said because I've already forgotten what we said last time. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I don't remember what happened. But Thank I do you, like the taste of Nyquil. you're heavy on the Nyquil. Yes. Yeah. Paul, your hands up. Uh, PA is live at TCO, and Quasi Adolfo Mensa will join him right at 9. Oh, Whoa, that's big. Oh, let's get that out of here big. then. Come on, man. I want to hear that. All right, we're back tomorrow, 5.30 to 9, 9 to noon next. And you will see you tomorrow. Everybody have a wonderful day. You too, Abba. KFAN Total Traffic. From the Quick Trip Traffic Center, here's a look at the roads. 35 double. And 94 eastbound delays Olson Memorial Highway to Hen Lindale Avenue. Still a disabled vehicle on the right shoulder, Crosstown westbound. Men can choose from...